another episode of The Women of Ouija. Ouija. <laughs> I'm, I'm Kara Dolman. And I'm Marla Martinson. Hey, guys. Hey, subscribers. Bye -bye. Here's to you guys. Thanks for watching. So we have an interesting topic today, uh, something that we've uh, experienced with the board, and that is building and growing our intuition, opening up the chakras, the crown chakra, the third eye, the communication, getting off the board, starting to channel an automatic right, and what kind of intuition uh, can be had and opened up and expanded by using this wonderful tool called the Ouija board. So Karen... What's your take on it, and what's happened with you? Yeah, I think the more and more, it was what I found for myself, when you start to work with the unseen realms and you work with various tools, you're not just using the tool, you're actually using yourself. So you start developing your abilities. And anytime you have a tool, whether it's the throw cards or um, it could be dowsing rods, it's really you that does the work. It's not the tool. The tool becomes just your channel or vessel to allow you to do it. It becomes your way to, to maneuver or navigate those realms. So what I find is we're really developing ourselves. We're really becoming more aware of what our center is. We're more becoming aware of how to ground ourselves, to connect down to the earth, the, the, the deep for energies and we're learning also how to raise our vibration up into our heart area and then also up into our higher chakra so we get this nice balance and flow of the chakras moving up and down and opening and working these realms and also coming back and closing down so as you, the more and more you do this work what I find is my work is like Marlon just mentioned a second ago has progressed away from the board even more so than it ever has been so my abilities for intuition has gone to an all new level and also pulling in synchronistic or being aware of synchronistic events in my life. I'm more aware of them now receiving daily messages or communications from the guides, whether it's my spirit animal guides or my guides that are the ethereal beings. I talk to all the time on the board of the angels. I'm getting messages constantly uh, through this using this tool. It's really about, again, using myself uh, to use this tool. It, it has allowed me to really find those receptors within me so I can open up and begin to develop these skills, which we all have to some level. We all have them. It's just what permission are you going to give yourself to open them up? So I have found, too, that my ability to communicate with animals off the board has really skyrocketed more recently for me as I begin, begin working more and more away from the board it, um, in terms of talking to the animal species, uh, as well as um, even other kinds of sentient beings. So I have to say, overall, everything is developed on those uh, those more clairaudient, clairvoyant, clairsentient, all those levels. But also, one wonderful byproduct of doing this tool is in terms of my own self empowerment and confidence in that empowerment. The more work I, times I use this tool the more I've worked with the different um, energies surrounding it, such as I might pull in crystals or sage or something else that can augment this energy for me. And in doing that, it's actually made me feel more empowered within myself to a point where I could just get right on the board and it works, or I can just right now start channeling. I don't need the preparatory work, but I'll tell you what, I still do it out of respect for people who are working with me, but also to set the vibration. Mm -hmm. So it's like instantaneous to like, they're here. I can feel them right now. That's how quick it's come because when you work with these such tools, you really begin to understand and in a way start to master your own energetic vibrations within. So you're unlocking these things and you're learning these subtle energies. You're learning how to feel energies more. I know Marley, you can really speak to that as this took you into a whole level of like Reiki practice yeah. with some of the energies you've opened up. Yeah, with the Reiki, the Reiki attunements, I'm a Reiki master now, and I've had other attunements, the reconnection and some other kind of attunements with energetic attunements. That mm -hmm. that's what opened me up. I can feel the energy at my crown chakra. I can use the board, very, like you said, instantaneous. I put my hands on there, and it's going. I'm channeling. Last night I was channeling, supposedly Edgar Allan Poe, who I ha did channel a poem with him for my uh, book, The Buddha Made Me Do It, mm -hmm. and I put it in that book. But I channeled a message from him. Now, you know, we don't, somebody came, somebody uh, messaged me and said they got God on the board. And mm -hmm. how do they know it's really God? Now, uh, when I first started using the board alone, I also got God came on and Jesus came on. And they said some profound, wonderful, beautiful things, and I wrote them down. Now, how do I know it's really God? I, I don't know. And I asked, I said, hey, is this like a Neil Donald Walsh? Kind of thing, you know, conversations with God, because he, then he said yes. So it could have been. We, I mean, we look. We really have no proof uh, about any of this. Who, who these people are, who these beings are. 
Uh, but uh, we enjoy it. We get wonderful, beautiful, profound messages. Uh, I don't know if it's really Poe coming through, but it, it's nice to think so because I'm a fan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my angel Mirth, who comes through, has is, is consistently come through the last three years, and we have a great relationship. I believe it's her. Um, but as far as communicating with other beings, I mean, we just, I guess that's what faith is. That's what, um, you know, using this energy is. And I can feel, I can, because when I'm starting to call in, the angels call in the guides. I can feel some tingling. I can feel the energy on me. And that's really exciting because uh, you kind of know it's there. And I'm getting more and more energy in my body. I'll feel maybe some on the top of my foot when I'm laying in bed or on my leg, some energy kind of moving around. And my, uh, my teacher and healer told me that I'm, I'm upgrading to uh, a, a more another level of heal of being a healer and things are um, enter, I'm upgrading so you know that's kind of exciting uh, so yeah it's it's it, it's opened me up I'm so happy I started mm -hmm. with this tool that I never had used as a kid or or ever tried uh, before three years ago and um, I wasn't afraid of it because I guess I'd never really had any you know knew right. about it too much mm -hmm. I mean I knew what it was but I'd never tried it never knew anybody who had. And so when I tried it, um, it was just, and I'd never tried a Ouija board. And I don't have anything that said Ouija, just angel board, different boards with different uh, designs on it. So, um, you know, I didn't have any fear. And I think when you come from that place, uh, just excitement and, wow, what could happen? And what kind of messages can I get? Uh, they, they're they there to support you. The, the our, our guides, our, your angels, other ethereal beings. And we get that support and help with our intuition and opening up because we are spiritual beings in a body. And so we have that ability to connect uh, with um, other realms and other energies. It's just natural. It's really natural that uh, society has kind of shut that down. And also a lot with a lot of the fluoride and junk foods and chemicals and all of this and pollution kind of shuts down the third eye, pineal gland, you know, another video to get into that. But uh, that's why Karen and I, uh, we're vegan. We we really have a kind of a clear channel. We're, we're conscious of what we put in our body, uh, uh, as far as nutrition and and uh, all of that. And that does help too with the intuition. I find. Yeah, you know, you, you touched on a really important part here. Is, is you work with any of these tools, or let's just say you're not even using a tool. You're just working on developing your own psychic abilities or empathic abilities, which we all have on some level. Um, you you begin to notice subtle energies. That's the key here. It becomes subtle. If it's subtle at first, then you start to really feel them and, and throughout your body in different areas, and, and you begin to notice them around other people too. So a lot of people are, that tend to get into using this tool are usually typically sensitive people to start with. They're very empathic. And so those type of people, when they walk into a room, they're very, they can feel the subtle energies there. Mm -hmm. So this tool helps you fine tune that, but also helps you understand it better. So you know, when you're in a situation that's not so good for you and you're in a better situation, you learn to judge those. You get a baseline basically for your, for your energies and how you feel, but you begin to be able to judge them better. So you make better decisions in life and better decisions when you're around people. So all, all around, this tool has really helped me find my own, again, my own empowerment and the ability to work with these subtle energies and to really do profound uh, things with them as well as to get profound information. So it's it's a win win if you ask me. How about you, Marla? Win win. Win win, and let us know what abilities have opened up for you. Uh, That's right. How long it's taken? If it's happened with the board or something else, we'd love to hear it. Comment below, like this video, so other people can find it. And we love you. Thanks for watching. Bye, you guys. Thank you. Happy